I'm not a fan of the expression new year, new you, because you are already fabulous. So I just want to do my part to help improve upon the awesomeness that we already are. How does that sound? <laughs> I want to start this year off strong. I don't know about you, but for me, business has shifted dramatically in the last three months or so, three to four months. And I'm having to sort of redefine not only what it is that I do on social media and on the internet, but like almost redefine myself. I mean, it does help that I just recently got married. So I'm in a kind of a a different mindset. I'm a wifey poo now. (laughs) And I wasn't able to say that for about 25 years. So it feels pretty good. (laughs) But in redefining what it is that we're doing on social media, we have to kind of go back to the beginning because what is happening in social media marketing today, 2024, and for who knows how long, I mean, we all know that social media evolves and the platforms evolve, but things have shifted to the degree that it's like starting over again. We have to relearn new skills. We have to reevaluate the transformation that we're offering to our customers and our clients. Now, I don't know what it is, what kind of business it is that you are promoting on social media, but it is more clear than ever that one way for us to kind of rise above the noise, get people to stop scrolling, which is obviously a number one goal and target of ours, is to rethink, redefine, rework, retool the transformation, the offer that we are providing to our clients and customers. Gone are the days of buy my stuff because I said so, or even befores and afters, or even things that seem so obvious. Like, for example, I can, I feel like I can be obvious and say, I've been a social media marketing specialist for 13 years. You should learn from me because I know what I'm doing. That's going to go nowhere because how many other bajillions of social media marketing specialists are there out there? Now, granted, not all of them are, you know, almost 59 years old with gray hair and, you know, living on a farm in the middle of nowhere, Canada. (laughs) So those types of things set us apart. Who we are sets us apart. And that is something to consider for sure as we redevelop our transformation offer, but redefining definitively what we are going to provide for people in 2024 isn't about us anymore. It is about our audience. So knowing our client and our customer so intimately, we give them a name, we give them a face, we give them an average income, we give them a life style or a life that we can truly understand and resonate with. And it is only at that point when we know this audience definitively that we can give them what they're looking for. And so I'm going to use Amy. I'm going to, I'm going to use her as a little um, example today. So Amy and her husband have just recently built a campground in in Manning Park or just outside of Manning Park? Just outside East Gate. Yeah. Okay. Right. So just outside of Manning Park, it's brand new. So you would think it relatively easy that she, you know, we have a brand new campground, brand new washrooms, brand new this, brand new that. It's it's a new destination. However, how many campgrounds are there in British Columbia? So what is it about? Amy and her husband and her lifestyle and what they offer through that specific campground outside of being brand new, that is going to draw in um, new customers to their campground site. Those are the types of deep diving and deep digging that we have to really work on in terms of putting that together into storytelling so that we can then attract people on social media today. Is this making a little bit of sense? I, I'm, you know, we honestly, all of us, I don't care if you're Gary Vaynerchuk 
or Marie Forleo or Amy Porterfield or or Connie Porter. We all have to reevaluate what we're doing on social media today because it has shifted so dramatically. So, you know, beginning with the transformation that you're offering, that's where we start. Knowing the offer is based on knowing your audience. That is also, that is basically step number two, you know, diving deep into who your audience is. I'm re-evaluating the audience that I serve and digging deep into their life and their issues and concerns and problems so that I know what to offer them. So for example, I just am working on a piece of content right now. All it says is hit record. And if that doesn't um, hit you viscerally, then you're not my target audience. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the 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 majority of people that I teach and coach, they are so afraid to get on social media and show their faces. And I understand it completely. I've been making videos for a thousand years. My very first video on the internet is so wickedly awful. <laughs> this is, I'll, I'll do a reenactment. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Lori. I live in Canada and I have two wonderful daughters. I like sushi and I like helping people. But, like that's it. <laughs> so thankfully I've come a long way, but there's always more to learn and grow and develop and and you know progress with so the point being is you know once we've defined our offer that the transformation this is i want i want this word to you know sink deep into your thinking and your understanding because the your what you're providing has to be a transformation that is the only way that you're going to have a chance of rising above the noise. So what is that transformation that your audience, that your ideal client customer, what is that they're looking for? What are they seeking? And then, you know, hit record, tell the stories, tell. And if you have no stories yet of clients or customers that you've already served and or helped, then simply start talking about the transformation you've had in yourself. You know, we all start from square one. We all start from scratch. And it's, you know, we get these, these, um, I get, because based on, you know, what I do for a living, I get these messages of produce more content, don't produce more content, do more of this, don't do more of this. Like, it's just, there's so much noise out there right now. And that's why I want to really encourage you makers this year and always to just learn how to have a bit of tunnel vision. And the more you practice that muscle of, you know, honing in on your, on your transformation offer, honing in on your audience, honing in on your storytelling, honing in on just hit record. Um, the easier it's going to become and the more possibility and chance of you growing your business significantly in 2024. By storytelling, I mean exactly that, telling your story, using the story functionality. What I want you to focus in on for right now and the foreseeable future is the storytelling aspect of your your business that in itself is a strategy you know there's so much more that we're going to talk about throughout the year as we do this on a monthly basis with the the makers group and I want to say a special shout out to Lisa thank you for being here two times in a row I appreciate that <laughs> but um just producing content in a way that tells these stories that builds the trust of your audience because ultimately what you're trying to do is build community around your brand you are your brand and so you know it it it's all this it's the cyclical thing right so the offer the knowing your audience the storytelling building the community and then it just keeps 
it just, it's like a snowball effect, right? So as that grows, it gets larger and larger and larger. And, you know, using social media to do this, as I was saying, is the storytelling on Instagram, on Facebook, um, on TikTok. I don't know. Do any of you use TikTok for your business? <laughs> is it a good idea? TikTok, do you mean? Um, I said don't. <laughs> I said don't follow me yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Kat is asking about TikTok. So, um, Kat, it, there are certain variables that will help me answer that question better, but generally speaking, I think TikTok is a great idea there. The audience on TikTok is not what some people portray it to be. It's not just teenagers dancing. It, th those days are long gone. The amount of Gen Xers on that platform is staggering. They are, they're lurking, they're looking so if you use TikTok in like with SEO properties, with interesting stories, there are definitely different strategies on TikTok videos than there are on Instagram reels. I'll give a quick example. Um, and this might sound silly, but it works. When you start to create a TikTok video, if you kind of, I don't know, like pretend here, I'm going to use this as an example sorry, pretend to like adjust your camera as you begin recording, because that jolting of your image is something that's going to attract the eye. Or for example, if you have, if you've already hit record off screen and you come in and sit down, um, like within the first one to two seconds of it recording, anything to sort of attract the eye that is different than someone just sitting there staring at the camera. Those are small strategies that can work on TikTok. Instagram reels are very different. Um, still things that work very, very well are trending audios, putting text on screen. Um, I'm a little bit tired of the, you know, read the caption with the pointing down emoji. The, that's kind of phasing itself out. I, I do it now only to mock those who use it all the time, which maybe isn't the best strategy, but it, you know, I just, the other day I made a, a, a mocking ish reel about, this is how I maintained my follower account over the last 30 days, which was in my, you know, my intention was this was a, a complete, I don't know, sort of jab at those who are like I gained 50,000 followers in the last 30 days <laughs> like it's so unrealistic it, sure you can gain 50,000 followers if you buy them <laughs> but that being said I'm you know that that might be a little bit snarky on my end and that's because I've been in this business for <laughs> as long as I have been but you know at the end of the day being your true self I, a tagline that I've I've shared a little not a tagline but kind of a motto for 2024 is more in 24 more of me more reality more truth more just vulnerability you know sharing the challenges because life is not perfect N life is not perfect for anybody including those influencers who make us think that life is perfect Life is certainly not perfect for them. Life is not perfect for those people who have tons of money that we wish we had. Life is not perfect for those, those accounts that have hundreds of thousands of followers, millions of followers that we wish we had. Life is not perfect for those coaches that are saying, I made, you know, $30,000 this week. Or do you know what I mean? Like, we're all just human Let's be human together. Let's be relatable and share that in our stories. So while we know our offer, the transformation that we can bring to people, while we know our audience and dig deep into who they are so we can help them even further, let's be vulnerable, let's storytell, let's share, let's build the brand awareness and the community and grow our businesses together. That's what I wanted to share with you 
today. My maker friends love it. Thank you, Kat. Um, I do have a group coaching um, program that I offer now. If you are interested in learning more about that, that is, thank you, Connie. It is uh, uh, twice a month. We meet on Zoom and I teach you how to do all of these things that I talk to you about on, on the monthly basis. So if you're interested, let me know. I do have other offerings coming out soon as well. But even just in our Making Sense of Social Media group, I love seeing you all. I can't wait to build that even further and grow together with you makers in 2024 and beyond. We all deserve amazing success. We all deserve to have that smile on our face because we know we've done our best. And, you know, that's all That's all I can say today. It's just more in 24 and I'm super excited. You, I look forward to seeing you again next month with some more tips and advice and strategies. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Happy 2024. Let's go out and make it amazing.